Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I created this easy go-to eye makeup look. This is for beginners. This is for the people that don't even know where to begin when they do their eyeshadow. It's like probably five or six shadows that I use, but you don't even need, you can use like four. I use the Morphe 350 palette. This is an, a really good, affordable palette with a bunch of colors. The shadows in here are very pigmented, very creamy. Very, very good for the price point. So if you guys want to see how I created this look right here, then just please keep on watching. Okay guys, today I'm going to jump right into the video. I am going to be using the Morphe 350 for shadows. It's a very nice, basic, warm toned palette and it's affordable. Um, and then when I begin my eyeshadow, I don't begin without doing my brows first, so I will fill in my brows. I usually take the Anastasia number 20 brush. It looks like this. I usually take this and some concealer and clean up underneath my eye and whatever is left of the concealer, I bring it down my eyelid. And then I'll set the concealer with the Laura Mercier translucent powder right here. I usually just use this brush. That just kind of works as a eyeshadow base and it cancels out all the veins at the same time. So I have a nice clean base to start my eyeshadow with. And then usually when I begin doing my eyeshadow, I will take a fluffy blending brush. This is the E35 from Sigma. That one's a good one. Or the, oh, I have two E35s. Well, I have two E35s from Sigma. And then I have the Morphe M501. I like this one uh, for like a quick look. Like I'll use this one. And then I also have the Morphe 441. The Sigma E40 right here is a really good one. And what else? For blending, I recommend these ones right here. Just to begin. So, I'm just going to take the Sigma E35 and I'm going to dip in to the shade right here. And we are going to use this as a transition shade. For eyeshadow, you never go in with the darker shades first. You always want to kind of make it go light to dark because things can get crazy if you don't. So we're just going to take that color, dip into it, and tap off the excess. And we are going to apply that to the crease of the eye, kind of contouring the hollow part of your eye, just to deepen it a little bit. And when applying your eyeshadow, never go in with a heavy hand. It's your eye, be sensitive around it. So we're kind of just going back and forth, and I kind of, as you can see, I kind of twirl the brush around once I get to the end just to kind of smoke it out a little bit more. Depending on what kind of look you're doing, I when I use browns, I tend to use the same brush over. So just going into like a little bit of a darker color, I'm going to pick up this brown that's right here and I'm going to apply that just to the outer part. You don't want to apply all your dark colors to the inner, just the transition. So we're going to take a little bit on the same brush and just apply that to the outer part of the eye. I went in the hollow of the eye. I'm using that as like my starting point and I'm kind of just wiggling it back and forth in mini windshield wiper motions and just working my way up to blending it out. And I'm just kind of dragging it just a little and not really applying the same amount, but just dragging whatever's left to the inner part just to make it blend out a little bit more. I'm just kind of extending that a little bit more out. Now I'm going to switch up my brushes. I'm going to use the Morphe M441 similar but it's just a little bit softer it's not as stiff as the other one I was just using and I'm going to go into an even darker shade I'm going to pick up I'm going to pick up this shade or this shade I'll do this shade I'm going to pick up this shade right here and I'm just going to focus that one mainly in the crease of the outer part of the eye so I'm gonna look at that I'm gonna raise my eyebrows a little bit and look down and place it in the socket right here. And just lightly wiggle that back and forth. Being very precise with it because you don't want to go everywhere with this one. And 
Now I'm just going to pick up the E35 again from Sigma and take the lightest shade again and kind of blend those two together. Just going on the top of the crease and go back and forth. Now for the inner part of the lid. Since this is a basic eyeshadow look, I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm not going to try to do anything crazy. I'm going to take this F70 concealer brush. Looks like this by Sigma. And I'm going to pick up the white eggshell. Is this an eggshell? It's like a white, off-white, like an off-white shadow. It's matte. There's no shimmer to it. And I'm going to pick it up on the brush, tap off the excess, and apply that to the center of the lid, going all the way in. This is a basic look. This really opens the eye up, by the way. And then I'm going to take the Morphe M441 again, kind of just lightly dust over it, trying to blend the two. Like a dusting and a padding motion. Trying to blend the two shades together. Now if you do use um, top eyeliner, I usually don't. But if you do use your top eyeliner, now would be a good time to apply it. Um, since I don't do top eyeliner, I'm just going to move over to my lashes. I'm just going to curl the lashes very lightly. Never be too harsh on your lashes. Excuse me, mine's kind of but, and then I'm going to take my House of Lashes and um, I think it's Iconic Lights. And I'm going to take the lash glue. Right now I've been loving the duo lash glue that's like this. It's like the clear one. I don't know, it's so good and it's so cheap. I'm just going to take my tweezers and hold it for a few seconds until it dries. Now I'm going to take the shimmery shade in the palette, which is right here. And I'm going to apply that to the brow bone and the inner corners. And when I apply to the brow bone, I try to just keep it hit it at the highest peak. It makes it look so much more natural and brings out the face a lot more. Now I'm going to do this side of my eye and the rest of my face and then I'll be back with the lower lash line. Okay guys, I'm back. I finished the rest of my face, I did my other eye and now we are going to do the lower lash line. So I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit more so you can see. So I zoomed you in just so you can see, and I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is the E30 by Sigma, and I'm going to go in, in the same way we did the top part of the eye, we're gonna do the bottom. We're gonna go in light to dark, and we're not gonna bring the dark into the inner corners of the eye. So we're going to start off with this color right here again for the base, and we're just going to pop that onto the lower lash line. Next, we are going to go in with not the shade, but we're going to jump right over to the darker shade. And we are going to apply that more towards the outer. And if you want, you can stop there. I'm going to stop there because that's usually how I like my lower lash line to look. I don't like it to look too dark, especially when I'm doing a look like this. But if you want, you can go back in with the darkest shade that we used on the eye, which was right here. And you can apply that to the outer corner too if you really want to smoke out the bottom lash line. Today, I'm not going to do it. I think it looks perfect like this. And now I'm just going to apply my bottom mascara. I'm going to take my The Roller Lash by Benefit. And I'm just going to give them a nice little coat.
Okay everyone, and this is the final look. I hope you guys liked the video and found it very easy and helpful. If you guys do like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit that bell for post notifications and I'll see you next time.